Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into how to set up and use Globe Plants assets in Twin Motion. Whether you've got the high poly or low poly models, this guide is for you. So, let's get started. After you've downloaded your Globe Plants models from our website, the first thing you'll need to do is unzip the files. Inside, you'll see files in the .tmi format. These are ready to go for twin motion. Next up, you'll need to copy all these files into your user library folder. Now, the user library folder location is different on Windows and Mac OS, but don't worry. I'll leave both paths here as well as in the description below so you can easily find them. Once you've copied everything over into your user library folder, start Twin Motion, and you'll see the assets pop up in your user library tab. Just a quick reminder, make sure Twin Motion is closed when you're copying the files and only open it after you're done. It'll save you from having to restart Twin Motion. All right, let's test out a few of these assets. As you can see, they load up smoothly and quickly, so you're ready to add some green to your projects in no time. Now, I'm going to try these assets on a different project file. My goal here is to integrate them into this scene and see how they look. I'm adding a few tropical plants to the scene, moving them around and rotating them to get just the right look. You can really make these assets work for your own creative vision. I'll also toggle on a few hidden layers with other plant groups to really fill out the environment. And let's not forget about Twin Motion's ray tracing feature. It's going to make everything look that much more realistic. Finally, a quick tweak to the lighting here. Just playing around to find the perfect angle for that natural sunlight glow. And there we have it, a vibrant, lifelike scene ready to go. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you get those Globe Plants assets into Twin Motion with ease. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tips and tricks on creating amazing visuals. We've got lots more coming your way, so stay tuned. And as always, happy designing.